OK, so, so far we have found the sender's address, the date which comes under the sender's address, the greeting, the introduction to talk about the purpose, so why we're writing the letter and the conclusion which comes at the end of the letter. Now we've got one more feature that I'd like to look for, and that is the sign off. Now we looked at sign offs when we did diary entries about the Great Fire of London. Can you remember because we had to sign off our diary? Could you pause the video and see if you could spot the sign off in this letter to Santa? OK, Yeti, were you able to spot the sign off? Well, yes, the sign off is love from Daisy and two kisses. OK, so that's an informal sign off. You wouldn't write that in a formal letter. You could also write lots of love from Daisy or just from Daisy. OK, but it's at the end of your letter and it tells you who the letter is from. OK, so could you pause the video now and find the sign off in your letter to Father Christmas that you've got? OK, yeah, too fantastic. So this has been your task throughout the lesson. You've had to find the sender's address, the date, the greeting, the introduction to talk about the purpose, the conclusion and the sign off in this letter to Father Christmas. OK, and I have an extra challenge for you that I'd like you to do or try to do when we have finished this video. So that is, can you also spot some personal pronouns? Remember, we looked at those when we did diary entries. It was pronouns like my and I. Some conjunctions, so we did those when we looked at bubbles. Can you spot any of those in the letter? Can you spot any exclamatory sentences? So we did those when we looked at diary entries or any questions. And can you label these on the letter for me? OK, now before we finish this video, you have another little task, your plenary. And I'd like you to send this with the rest of the work that you send to the office so I can see how you've got on with the features of the letter. So I want you to write step by step instructions about what to include in an informal letter. So I've done the first step for you. So number one, you write your address at the top in the right hand corner. So now you need to write step by step instructions to tell me in which order order you need to write different things in an informal letter to include all of the features. Now what came after the address? What was under the address? Well that will be your next step okay so good luck with writing your step-to-step -step instructions and I'm looking forward to seeing your labelling of the different features and the challenge question if you get onto that when you send your work into the office. Have a lovely rest of your day year two. Bye!